Hello, welcome back to our Heritage Works. Today we are going to make a chicken gravy mix. The full recipe can be found at the end of this video. The first thing we need is two cups of our favorite gluten-free flour. The next ingredient is one quarter cup cornstarch. The next ingredient is chicken bouillon. I am using my own. Be sure to watch the video on how to make this version. Next, we have onion powder. I have a video on how to make this from scratch. Next, we have garlic powder. Again, I made this myself. You can watch my video on how to make it. Now we will be using homemade poultry seasoning. While I am using many of my own homemade powders, you can certainly use those that are commercially available. Now we will add some thyme. Since my thyme is not ground, it's just the stems, I'm going to use a Morton pestle and grind it myself before adding it to the rest of the ingredients. I wanted to say thank you to everyone for watching my videos and commenting and sharing them with others. It is greatly appreciated and it helps the algorithm to improve our channel and get it out there to more viewers. I'm also going to grind this next ingredient, parsley, because it's in the leaf form and I really want it to be as small as possible. I'm going to add about a quarter teaspoon of Himalayan salt. Finally, I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of fresh white pepper. White pepper is lower in oxalates than the other peppers, 
so I always use white instead of black or red or green. Um, you'll find that I have a few granules of each of the others just for a variety, but I mostly have the white pepper. If you're watching your oxalates, certainly go with the white pepper instead of the black. The final step in this process is to mix thoroughly. You could do this in a bowl and then pour it in a jar for storage. Um, you can keep this for about six months if it's in an airtight container, um, a year on the outside. I tend to use these spices pretty quickly. While this is a gravy mix, you can certainly add uh, cream or um, some other heavier type of um, liquid like half and half and then use it like in a pot pie or a soup base or something like that. It does not have to be strictly for gravy. Use your imagination and figure out where do I need something that's creamy, chicken flavored and go from there. Add it to your favorite recipe. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Thank you.